they'd probably have ruined my day completely. Idea. Roman will decide that when he's back. Why? So he was punished for being dumb, not for lying. You can't really be so stupid when you're guarding someone. He got lucky the drifter just left. Could have slit the dumbbell's throat. Yeah, that is true. What do you think he went to that drifter? Um, Vitya said he was heading for the church. Oh, why did you say this then? What? Look, I think I see the drifter up there. It's here. Ugh. I'm so tired of chasing stupid squirrels. Squirrels, probably. Just squirrels. Well, he didn't harm us at all, really. 
And besides, who's gonna mind the camp if we all chase him, huh? Imagine if the master comes. Oh, I, I guess I didn't think this through. Yeah, Vidya didn't either. Let's see where it got him. Learn from his mistakes, man. Yeah, I'm learning all right. In any case, he only makes it worse for himself, that drifter. If the pirates catch him, they'll just pin him to a tree. Uh, that reminds me, why do they respect the teacher? He told them in the end that they shouldn't just kill a bear. Laughing. Why did you stop? Hey! Sonia, go check on that drum wizard. Something's off. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we could only hope for something to happen to that wood Hey, man. Who's in charge here? You. What they yeah. guys are all for? Let me play something instead. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. It only starts raining dead squirrels when you start your exercise. A good drum, though. Oh, fuck you! I
like it's still going to say it. We will go be diligent somewhere instead of wasting time. yourself if you're so smart I told you we should have just killed them they aren't going to talk anyway just kill them every time hanging on one of their posts Fingers did he have a left?
What a pleasant surprise, man. It's me, your pal. You saved me just now, and I brought help. So I had a little drink here to celebrate and overdid it. <laughs> While well, the guys are having fun with the forest assholes, so yeah! What are we even doing here? Such a shit place. dried up, but I'm sure. This is the pits. 
Gotta keep both eyes peeled all the time, and that's just exhausting.
Freeze, Drifter! So, we meet again? Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the master of the forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it. Sorry, teacher. The locks are all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind. But that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed. So just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alyosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alyosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. <laughs> Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. And I am stuck in thought. Once the master decided to go the vicinity, People all that stopped coming, those I haven't forgotten. The teacher raised us all, taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all belong dead. So the girls used to come from and the boys still left it from time to time. Even Ramanda's was though it was because of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the road. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we were the only group who were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves in the the elder voice was able to be seen. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the voice returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything, anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Come morning he was gone, to this church. At first he wouldn't speak to anyone, but us girls kept checking up on him, just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice, and gradually he started speaking to us. Still he was like a different man, so distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore though he'd reply to their letters, and to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience, keep them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either. Started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then they started hanging bandits from the posts. 
calling them musts. One day they took about ten bandits alive and used them to test all the boys. Made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that. And then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. Of course, they all calmed down by now. They are talking to each other, at least. But back then, only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. In the end, Luda and a few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. I still keep checking the radio, hoping to hear from them. The teacher hoped too, but that hope didn't last long. They left in July, and in September he shot himself. That seemed to get through to Roman. He got calmer. Some of the elder guys went over to the pioneers. After all, the important thing is that we stay together. So... So now I have an important voice at the council. Cause I can kick ass if they don't listen. And not just because they're not supposed to hurt girls. A fair fight is a fair fight. Thing is, the only one I lost to in a fair fight was Roman. And even then, I gave him a blue eye he had to wear for a week. <laughs> that earned his respect. The one I had the most trouble with was the Admiral. He was Roman's right-hand man. Wouldn't leave the lumber mill no matter what. Kept saying we must defend it, if we don't want the mutants to eat the whole valley. But the radiation levels kept climbing there. Roman checked it with the counter himself. So at one council meeting, Roman and our instructors had everyone vote against the Admiral, and the pirates went on to build a new fort near the shore, where it's still okay to stay. The Admiral would have none of that, so he and his most hardcore flunkies stayed at the mill. I never heard from them again. Radiation's not to be played with. The teacher didn't burn us all for nothing. Without the Admiral, there is nobody who dare give me any trouble in the console. I'll put a leash on them tonight, all right. Don't you worry. I just need some time to gather my thoughts. I don't like politics, really. You could listen to the teacher's diary if you like. He kept recording it. As if he knew. Yes. I must have heard it hundred times already and still... We let him down. We really did. The radio's silent. My last hope for giving them a positive goal, leading them out of this forest dead end, was a complete fluke. Where did I go wrong? How could these great, talented, active, brave, honest, friendly children who would actively seek justice turn into monsters. Sure, I'm no Pestalozzi, but I did all I could. And even more, I gave them all my soul, my life. And uh, what did that result in? A society of shut-ins who only respect strength and are no less cruel than the bandits they fight. Yes, some of them kept their purity, shrugged off the bad influence, and ended up leaving. I gave them all the fuel I had. But how few they were. Most changed. Could it be that in this world, that routinely changes even the harmless animals into nightmarish freaks? Mankind simply has no future. What is there to hope for? What's the point of even going through the motions anymore? Well, at tonight's council session, I'm going to remind them all what the teacher thought in the end. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Did the teacher save us all so that we could just attack people? The 
defending ourselves is one thing, but attacking, they can deny them. Me guys, reload.
and other animals. Wait a moment. You're not one of ours. A bandit, then. Don't look like one. Though you never know with them bandits. Different shit every day. Am I right or what, Senya? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, quit your yapping! Making a worse racket than if there's aquas in heat. No respect for our guest, either. He can't get a word in edgewise. Don't mind him. To our meeting. That's a good tea. You fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though. Radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass. Radiation. Just look at us. Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be. <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left We're the all cowards. forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that, don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! 
And the other ground loving rats, too. They all forgot we're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! <sighs> Did they, boys? <sighs> They did! They shouted their throat sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it! My boys, do remember! And those, don't! You could always count on them when you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names! Aye, but when the going got tough, and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds. They changed their tune. Oh, radiation! Oh, it's dangerous! Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out! Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who they rats. are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards. <sighs> Even the pioneers have more spine than that slime. They followed Ludmila to the dam. They were going to take the tunnels and then go along the reservoir, those adventurers. I've no idea if they actually got anywhere. But they weren't afraid of no radiation, that's for certain. Well, the only person who still has balls in that sorry lot is Olga. She did visit us a lot here, and she always thrashed those cowards at council sessions. Visit us, my ass! It's you who she visit! Yeah, right. Me! Though, if not for my spine wound, Olga and I would have turned this valley upside down. But now, who needs a cripple? To hell with her! A woman on a ship is bad luck. Besides, we stayed with you. Yes. My boys did stay here. I had to do some persuading to make them stay, though. Even you were going to abandon your old friend, weren't you? Weren't you? Come on, Admiral, sir. We'd never do that. Yeah, yeah. Tell that to this new guy. He seems to be all ears. But I can read you all like a book. And I say, you are going to leave me. And had I not brewed my tea extra super strong that day, you would have. No doubt about that. Hey, careful with the guitar. Got it, sir. I'll be careful. Come on, remember, this thing is an instrument. Yes, sir. An instrument. 
What the hell is up with you today? Do you want to scrub the deck so bad? Sorry, Admiral. Don't be sorry. Be better. How about you play something instead of dropping that guitar? I'd go for a shanty. Yes, Admiral. One shanty Two coming up. You're all grounded. <laughs> Yes, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a smoke? I say we should. Oh, this is good. Strong, the way I like it. This tea is as good for smoking as it is for brewing. It can also cure any sickness. And solve your marital problems. <laughs> this smell is an acquired taste, but I like it a lot. And my boys here don't have any problems with it. Not anymore.
Get some! Artyom? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Hear the counter react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well, see that zipline? Those kids built it, back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Artyom!
You all right there? Huh? What the hell? Restore this line's tension. We're done. Olga! I told you people. They just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just stop and live like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case... I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out! Nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His old guy's there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now.
Guardia. You know, when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there. And if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You will save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please. Stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratuha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Stefan, come to the bridge! One moment! Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Why are you crying, then? I'm afraid. Afraid? What of? <coughs> this. I have this scarf. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? <laughs> Don't worry, Nastya. Don't worry, I just after all. We can be okay. 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 I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. We did examine the dam and the reservoir. You have to leave the valley. As soon as possible. At least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding. And if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be deadly. Leave tomorrow, or even better, yesterday. Talk to the other girls. Get them to raise the issue at the council session. Even some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and radiation wow. outside is almost the as high as back in Moscow. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still... Novosibirsk is most probably so what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the way. We go. No, no, sir. No. Not our right. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Arthur's. 
Are we done? I need any help. 